Hey everyone, welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. This workout today is a strength and cardio combo, but format's a bit different. So I'm gonna give you five different strength exercises. Lots of those will be compound exercises to get that heart rate up. Then you're gonna follow that up with three cardio hit exercises. So we'll do five and three the whole way through. At the very end, I'm gonna throw five minutes of weighted abs in there as well for you. So you're gonna require a variety of dumbbells in the workout today. Make sure you have those, your water or BCAAs. Also, make sure you check out some of the playlists that I have for this summer. If you're traveling, mini band playlist would be great, or the no equipment playlist is up there as well. So check those out. All right, you ready to have a daily? Let's do it. let's get it started. I'm going to set my watch to high intensity intervals today since it's fast moving. We're not really going for muscular strength today. We're going for more fat burning, sculpting, okay? Just not enough time under tension on each muscle. So that's why our heart rates will be up moving quickly through these exercises. Okay. Did you take it wide? Yes, you did. Good. Um, yeah, four to five seconds each with a little quick transition. So you wanna make sure that you hit each exercise as hard as you can because it's not coming around again, reach across. But yeah, make sure you just pay attention, kinda of look up while you're doing it to see what's coming up next and um, you'll be ready to go. I'll also call it out so you can be ready. Up and over. All right, let's do a little forward and back bend here. So warm up those hamstrings and lower back a bit. Oh, that feels good. Two more here. Nice. Okay, a little up and around here, hip opener. Squats. My husband put some like something like Drano into a pipe, but it was stronger than Drano. Like it was like a special <laughs> horrible chemical because our bathroom, one thing is plugged. That's all I can smell this morning. I put a candle on there trying to take out some of the smell. Ugh, it smells like sulfur. It's gross. Open. So windows are cracked. I should turn that fan on too. Five more here. All right, let's reach across again. Nice. Up and over. And hands on your shoulders, a little turn right here. Wash the knee. We're gonna try this with Lily over at her bed there. She was fully asleep, so if I go on the ground, she'll be over in a nanosecond. I already know that, but hopefully she'll stay. We'll see. All right, let's get started with your first exercise. There, there, out there. Grab your weights. We're starting with a reverse lunge bicep curl. I'm gonna grab my 15s for that, seeing as it's only once. I'm gonna reverse first, alternating on the legs. Curl at the top, okay? So, super tall, there we go. Take it down, curl here. Hammer curl, so palms are facing. A little squat twist. Press is next. I think I'll lighten just slightly for that. Nice. Wow, those 15s really got my heart 
belly up. Oh. Taking that break, squat, twist to the side, spread your nose. All right, work here and there. switch. Otherwise, take a stationary stance, up and over, drop down, and press. Switch sides, and work. Going into a kneader press. I'm just gonna grab my thighs. This is challenging. One foot in front, one behind. Pulse press. Grab lighter weights, believe me. Let's work on the shoulders. Here we go. Little ball. Pop. It's not a lunge, just bobbing. Fives are so heavy on this. Holy Hannah. And just switch to my leg stance. Feel free to. Almost there. Push, push. Going to cardio next. Oh, oh wow. That was hurt. Okay. Duck under, squat, jump, okay? Eliminate the jump to modify that. Three exercises here. Under hop, under hop. Add a punch if you like. Jack front punch or modify there. That 
Let's work. Arms are on fire from that. A little twist, twist plank jack is next. Modify with just a plank jack or a plank foot tap, okay? for this. It's whatever you can high pull. Deadlift, you'd be able to do a lot more, but I'll stick with this. Stick your chest out. You're down, up, and power it up. Hinge at the waist here. Reach your hips back. A good power. Watch your chin. Moving into that curtsy lunge next. I'm going to grab some weights for that too, but lighter. Put them on my shoulders. Weight that a little bit. All right, curtsy lunge. If you can't manage the curtsy, feel free to just to do a reverse, okay? Curtsy can get that IT band if you have bad knees. It's hard. Here we go. You're low, alternating. And there. Nice and tall on your upper body here. Your foot should face the front when you're doing this, and just your back leg hits the diagonal component. Okay? It's harder on my left side, burns my hip a bit. Just have to be cautious. Okay, bear sit through. Hold a plank if you can't manage this. It's challenging on the shoulders, okay? You can hover, hold the bear, hover right like that if you want. Okay, hover, here we go. You're here. Flip and here. I want you to drop your glutes really low to the ground. Okay, hold yourself on that one shoulder only. A lot of balance required here. Stay down here for the next exercise. Crush grip, chest press, 
lifting, touch the dumbbells together, press towards the ceiling. Whew. Heart rate. Touch them here. Press over the chest, not the neck or head. Getting a lot of tries on this press. A little bit of medial delt as well. You'll feel that shoulder. Stay down here for your power raise next as well. side tap hop so just tap into the side I'll call halfway here right here tap here good switch sides Skater here or without the touch. Next, quick sip. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, 
15 for me. Feet shall do it. Work. Single leg deadlift next. I'm gonna do 45 seconds aside. Hold on to something if you want. Modify with the foot like this instead of out behind you, okay? Whatever leg you're standing on, opposite hand, hold. Here we go. Slow, slow, and lift. Add a hammer curl. Why wouldn't you? Slow, slow, hammer. That bottom knee is soft, okay? Quite soft. In fact, slightly bent, okay? Hinge, hinge, flat back. Lead with your chest still. Stay here for the full 45. Okay, that was not bad. Feels so good, actually. I like that exercise for isolating glute ham. Okay, stick your chest out. Left leg, right hand, hold the dumbbell. Low, low, stab and hammer. Slow, slow, quick. Here, pick it up, front, alternate legs. Squat, switch sides, drop. Tendency might be to deadlift here, but squat, please. out, knees are pointed out. Don't round the shoulders. Four windmills, four mountain climbers. This is a combo at our first cardio here, so you're ready to take it to the ground. Modify for 
windmills and you can reach your leg out to modify that. Thumb down, you're ready. So. This makes windmills doable, doesn't it? Sort of. Okay, stay down here. <laughs> side to side, mat hop. Okay. You can modify this by stepping to the side, pressing. Step, step, press. Otherwise, pop it. Take a quick break after this. Feel free to pause or continue. Ha! <sighs> okay, turn me right back. Okay, starting you back with a wide and narrow row combo. I'm use my 15s. It's a bit challenging, but again, it's only once. Tight core, okay? Into the waist. So narrow here, turn and take it wide. Nice and slow. I'll probably stand up halfway, stretch the back, but pop right back as soon as I'm able. The wide's the hard part, smaller muscles to get that weight up. Control. Two pinwheel curls coming up. Cross in front, palm faces the ceiling. I got my 15s here. Stick your chest out. Here we go. <laughs> and pop. Peak of the bicep here. That's why palm toward the ceiling flexes that small head of the bicep. Okay, front lunge, elbow to knee. I'm gonna grab my fives on this one. Hold them. 
at my shoulders here. Alternate down, and I'm gonna keep these weights for the next exercise too. Okay, alternating. So you're here, switch legs, and here. Slow, slow. Squat if your knees don't like lunges. I'm really trying to reach that elbow down to the knee, even to the outside of my knee. Hit that oblique crunch. Okay, stationary lunge, Arnold, front press, the front press is hard, I use my fives, that will be heavy for me. All right, let's take it down to stationary, I'll call it halfway, squeeze here, down, press, squeeze here, down, press. legs, here we go, drop it down, squeeze, and press, it's hard, A frame, ab, okay, if you're not loving this, just do an ab crunch, this is a lot of hip flexor, and tailbone, so if that's not your thing, Bicycle or ab crunch works. Tapping down, making an A with my feet. So you activate the glutes, kick up the heart rate. Jack. Oh, yeah. It's hard. Okay. 
hard. Okay. Center jack, side jack, center jack, side jack. If you're like, I hate that, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Just do the front one. This makes my ears plug up. Anyone else? Ultimate deadlift, there's your five exercises in this sequence. It's a lot to remember, it's only 45 seconds, but we're doing it, we really are. Starting with your deadlift, high pull, squat, curl, press. Deadlift here, drive it here, suitcase squat, curl, and boom. I'm using 15s here. And up, squat, curl, drive, that's it. Some of you love this exercise, me too. Good bang, warm your back. Full range of motion front raises next. Going lighter though. Boom, that was good. Okay, what am I gonna do, you think? I think eights. Full range, don't wanna pop my hips forward. So, stay stationary, knees are soft. Lift from the shoulders. Up, 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 up. Slow, slow, slow. This is heavy. Squat abduction press is next. I'm gonna use my one eight pound dumbbell. Last one here. So holding the one eight in my right hand, I'm gonna squat, abduct my left leg whilst, that's right, whilst pressing <laughs> my right shoulder. Low, I'll call half. Probably too light. Oh well. One more on this side. Switch. Work. We're gonna take it down to the ground next for two chest exercises. Take it to triceps. Up, down, all the way back. Watch your head. Palms are facing. Stay down here for a wide 
narrow press, okay? Let's gonna rest those arms for a second. Last one before cardio. Add. Turn it, squeeze at the top, take it wide at the bottom, really flex that pec at the top, or pecs rather. Before we go up for our last cardio, you know what, we're gonna stay down here for our ab sequence, okay? Don't move. Get your weights down in a second. Okay, well, pick up a lighter weight. We'll do a whole bunch of weighted ab exercises here. Starting with the butterfly crunch, with or without a weight. Feet are here, I'm gonna go overhead here with my five. Up and press. You can either put it overhead or bring it down to the chest, whatever is best for your shoulders, really. If I keep my arms bent, overhead is fine. Okay, the sit front press. Grab your other dumbbell. I've got two fives, threes would work, eights would be killer. The sit position, as you lean back, you press forward. This will be challenging. Ready? So, lean back in here. Little ab, little shoulder here. press at the beginning, hey? If your shoulders are burning, you hold them here for a few, still lean back, and then start again. Oh, okay, little pressure twist, I'm gonna grab my eight. I'm not gonna do an overhead press here, but I'm gonna hold it really tight to my body. I wanna crunch those obliques, so keep it close to you, okay? Lean back, feet off the ground if you can. You're here, slow, slow. Feel those abs, crunch each side. That's why you drop the weight down, it engages that muscle on the side. Don't go fast. Okay, plank, dumbbell, walk around. I'm just gonna put a dumbbell here. I'm gonna walk around it. So that it gives me that walk out, lengthening of the abs, as it were, get into plank. So walk, walk, way out around it. Come back here, go back from where you came. Bring your arms back under to your shoulders here, okay? So right under the shoulders, and then stretch it out. One more after this, I'm gonna grab my eights. Okay, we did this the other day, you did it with me maybe. 
It's a boat rocker, but I'm gonna put a weight on each side. As I sit up, I'm gonna grab it, hammer, press. Okay, so rock here. Rock, sit up, left, press. Now do the right. I'm gonna grab both for the last 10 seconds. Why not? Oh, I should have done that the whole time. That's not horrible. Four, three, two, and one. Last cardio. Three cardio exercises. Let's do it, starting with a floppy burpee. Give me just a jack if you don't love the burpee. Fast feet, floppy. Ready, here we go. Three, two, one, take it down. Stomach, up, three, two, one, down. Three, two, one, down. One more cardio. What should we do? Uh, how about in and out squat jumps? I was burning my quads at the end. It'll be a challenge. Here we go. Right here. You're modifying right here without the hop. Four, three, two, one, and done. You can move daily and you no know, repeat cardio strength with a fun format. I love that format. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. Okay, that was lovely. Let's just take it to a little side stretch here once your heart rate's down a bit. I really enjoyed that format. The five strength, no repeat but I feel like I lifted heavy enough in the strength that it got my heart rate up. It felt like I was, you know, kind of keep sculpting that muscle, burning body fat, toning the whole upper body. That's what I would call a good toning workout. Sculpting, toning. It's not really muscle building because you're not putting a lot of time under tension. You're more just kind of, you know, burning the body fat and using the muscle, but it's more in endurance than it is in strength. It's still great though. I would definitely throw this in once a week or a couple times a week for that great 
cardio, increasing your cardiovascular system, right? Getting the blood pumping, which is so great for increasing the length of your telomeres, which are that little piece on the end of your DNA strands, kind of looks like the end of your shoelace like this. That depicts or de determines how long you're gonna live. If you have shortened telomeres, your lifespan will likely be shortened. If you have longer telomeres, which are, can be lengthened through cardio hit um, exercises specifically, you're gonna live longer. That's what I want. If that's what you want, then make sure you put workouts like this on repeat as well, where you're getting that increased heart rate. You know, you can get that too when you lift heavy enough, you can feel really like breathy and gassed. But they do say there's something to the cardiovascular system working at that high intensity and then recovering, high intensity and recovering. Uh, that's super beneficial for that little bit on the end of your DNA. So do it, okay? All right, good talk. <laughs> Knees together, hips forward. All of this, I, I just posted on Instagram today that my goal has changed in my life. I love the aesthetics of working out and eating healthy, like I like how I feel and look. Um, but more importantly is, am I gonna be healthy on the inside? Like, you have one little moment of illness and it kind of freaks you out that at this age you realize that you're not invincible and that, you know, life is precious and it could end at any moment. So, as JFK said, fix the roof while the sun is shining. If you're doing this workout today, the sun is still shining on you. So, keep the roof repaired, keep it healthy, keep it, you know, clear of holes so that it doesn't rain on you. Stretch your chest. Um, that's my goal, total goal. So all my foods are micronutrient dense, drinking lots of water, getting lots of exercise, getting good sleep, dealing with my stress, um, making sure that I have good relationships that feed my soul, making sure that I'm happy. That's a huge thing for longevity is happy. Did you ever listen or read that happiness project out of Harvard? It was like over a hundred year study, I think. It's probably still going on. And one of the predictors of happiness, um, or sorry, of long longevity was happiness. Happiness in relationships, not being lonely. So that's, that's what I'm jonesing for. So friends, family, loved ones, and then all of the fitness, wellness, and nutrition components that I always talk about. All right, thanks for joining. Glad you did. Go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. And here's a workout that I recommend for tomorrow. Hey, and don't forget, you can support this channel over on Patreon as a, a member there, and you get some exclusive workouts and other little tidbits as well. And you can click or tap there for that. All right, see ya.